It's not even the end of January and we've already seen two significant snowfalls here in the mid south, leaving some wondering if these cold spells are here to stay. As News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky learned, these extreme weather events are not surprising to those who study them. It's climate change. Climate change that's showing up in the form of snow here in Tennessee. Typically about this time, you know, a month into the new year, and we're not even that, you're around two inches of snow. We are already uh, almost at eight inches of snow, and we're not even through the first month of the year yet. Vanderbilt professor Hibba Baroud has studied these changes for years. Sea ice melting and, and the warming Arctic is definitely affecting the Arctic significantly, but it's also having effects on the rest of the world and us here in the South that is affecting us. And these types of events that we've seen the last couple of weeks. News Channel 5 meteorologist Henry Rothenberg says there are other factors impacting Nashville's climate too. Car emissions, more development happening, which creates a difference in temperature. So we know that there are variables that factor into that. And I do think as we continue to go uh, through more and more years, we're going to see more and more events like this. As a civil engineer, Hibba says city leaders and builders of infrastructure like roads, the energy grid and water systems must consider these factors as they plan for the future. This was a good wake up call that we need to uh, plan for everything, be able to not only just plan for the expected outcome, but also the unexpected. The Tennessee Department of Transportation says it reviews its budgets annually and its performance during major storm events. The department also said it maintains open lines of communication with other states and agencies to ensure it has industry information and knowledge to carry out best practices across the state. It may sound expensive, but if you account for potential future losses from these disasters, it no longer seemed that expensive to invest today to avoid these future losses. Planning for the future by not dwelling on the past, but expecting what's to come. In Nashville, Klerkowski, News Channel 5.